everybody, welcome back to Dainty Africa. I hope you're all having a great day and um, welcome, or if this is your first, if you're coming back, welcome back. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I'm going to be traveling with my dog Rebecca to the Maasai Mara, which is a big national park here in Kenya, which is a country in Africa. So let's go. This is pointing like isn't going. Good morning, Goodbye. everyone. I'm sorry it's so dark, but anyway, it's the morning of our trip to the Mara, and I'm about to get Rebecca dressed for the day. So. <laughs> is dressed. This is her outfit as you will see throughout the day and we're ready to go to the Mara. Okay, let's go. Okay, so um, I have a lot of photos here because we actually drove to the Mara and it was about a five hour drive. So I had a lot of time so I took quite a few pictures as you can see and we actually passed the Rift Valley and that's what the photo is right now. And I just thought you might be interested in seeing like all the different scenery because I think it really is special here in Kenya. So, yeah. Everybody, so we have made it officially, sorry, to our hotel. And we are about to settle in. We already ate lunch and so we're on our second game drum of the day. We, uh, we had, um, sorry, there's a lot of background noise. We had a quick break in the hotel. It's really bumpy, but we're on our first official game drum. So, yeah. This was actually one of our luckiest game drives, and we saw a lot of awesome animals, including about nine cheetahs, which is really rare and really awesome. Also purchased something called seed balls which is the black thing Rebecca's holding in her hand and all you do with them they're actually tree seeds covered in nutrients and you just throw them and when it rains a tree will grow so it's really cool I also really loved the sunsets when we went on safari so we're back from our afternoon game drive and we are about to go for dinner. I'm actually going to be kind of cleaning up for Rebecca and making a little room for her. So yeah, let's do that. That's why I'm pointing. It's the makeshift room. I'm sorry it's so dark, but this is kind of like a day bed and then I brought that from home. Um, and I stacked our suitcases right here. And I'm going to be actually getting Rebecca ready for bed. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get her into pajamas. But first, I'm actually going to, like, kind of scrub her down. She's to... I know that it's dark, but um, Rebecca's about to go to bed. I gave her a quick wipe down with some water and a shoe that I found. Um, oh, it was just provided with the hotel. Don't worry, it wasn't, like, used. Um, and I put her in her pajamas, which are just Leah's pajamas right now. And that's, I think, the end for day one. So, see you tomorrow. Everybody, it's early in the morning and I just got Rebecca dressed. We're about to go for an early morning safari before the sun rises. We'll be out there while the sun rises. I tied Rebecca's hair into a messy look. Fun and yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly explain that when you're on safari, if you've never been on safari, you normally go on safari two times, twice a day. You go early in the morning when it's cool and then in the late afternoon when it's also cool. So you're normally at your hotel doing some kind of activity throughout the day because during the hottest part of the day, which is like from like 10 to like 3, you're kind of in your hotel because it's so warm. None of the animals are really out. So I just wanted to make that clear. photo 
you're about to see, there are towels shaped like animals that are hotel put together and I thought it was really cute so I took a picture. So it's about mid-afternoon and um, I'm about to walk to the pool. Rebecca is here with me. Hi. And yeah, we had a bit of a lazy morning after we went out for our morning safari and now we're just going to go swimming, so I'll see you at the pool. After we went swimming, we actually just explored around our hotel. We found a bunch of cool things, like this bridge, which is over a little river. Okay, so I kind of have to redo this audio because it was really awful. But we are on our third safari, and this is our afternoon safari, and yeah. It actually began to pour, and our we went in a little bus-like thing. I will show you a photo here. And we had to close the roof because normally the roof is open so you can stand up and like look around but we actually had to close it because it started to rain so that was fun <laughs> quick fact those buses are actually called matatus here in kenya and that's because tatu means three in swahili which is one of the official languages and there are 44 official languages in kenya and the reason it's called a matatu is because it used to cost three shillings, which is the currency in Kenya, to use a matatu, and matatu is three. So yeah, that's how they got their name. We actually got to go to a river in search of hippos, and it was really awesome because we were really close to them. If you're interested in more photos, because I took a lot of photos, um, you can definitely check out my Instagram, which is agafrica254, all lowercase, and it will be linked in the description down below, so definitely check that out. Our hotel also set up a little market of Kenyan things for us to buy. Good morning, everybody. So, um... It's morning. I'm sorry I didn't really follow up last night. We didn't really do anything, but we're about to go on to our morning safari. So let's go. back into our little van and drive so we had a great time at this hotel but it's gonna be great to be home so I'll see you in the car okay so because the Maasai Mara is an actually really a fenced off area as soon as we left the park we actually found like a bunch of giraffe as you can see we found like I don't know like nine there was a huge herd of them outside of the Mara we were just driving and then we just saw them and that was super awesome and unexpected because we didn't see that many giraffe while we were actually in the mark. Hello everybody, so we are back home and my dollhouse is back over there. Woohoo! Okay, sorry. It's kind of messy. But anyway, we're back home, so if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed, so please like if you did, subscribe for more awesome content, and comment down below with your video ideas. I also really want to make a video about like questions, if you have any, about Kenya or Africa generally, and what it's like living there. Please comment them down below, so thank you so much. Bye!